Well, I'm on the farm here today, and uh, uh, it's been sunny. We've had kind of a window to cut hay, but uh, I'm not quite ready just yet. The grass is uh, ready, and uh, probably next weekend, which will be Memorial Day weekend, uh, we're going to lay some hay down around here. The, the weather is looking favorable. I'm over here at the old barn. I think we're going to get some thunderstorms. It's just... Uh, uh, not too far from here, it was uh, actually raining a little bit, and there were some people scrambling to put up hay. For the most part, nobody's put up any hay. But that's not the subject of this video. You know, as farmers, uh, especially uh, haymakers, uh, we get out uh, in our, on our tractors, open station tractors, I'd say, I dare say that uh, the overwhelming majority of open station tractors do not have uh, a canopy, you know, to keep the sun off of you. And uh, so, rightfully so, concern about skin cancer uh, needs to be a priority. And uh, my dad uh, had a brother, and what I'm telling you here is what my dad told me or what I remember. And uh, he had a brother who was a doctor, and... Uh, Later on, he went went on to study radiology and uh, was became a radiologist. And I think, I might be wrong, but I think this is uh, from what I re recall, um, he did his internship in New Mexico. And the farmers would come in to see them, and uh, they'd be eat up with skin cancer. And, they, and I, as I recall, the way my dad said it, uh, they didn't really know. Uh, what it was they would just walk in and you know whatever skin cancer uh, looks like uh, they had you know they had it and uh, it was probably too late by then so on this farm I'm very mindful of the potential uh, for sunburn and then that leading to something worse and so uh, when I'm out <clears throat> when I'm out on my tractor uh, knocking around the first line of defense for me is just a hat, a really nice hat. And uh, this this hat right here does a nice job of keeping the uh, sun off my off my ears, especially the top of my ears, and uh, to some extent my neck. It casts a shadow uh, across the top of my head, and uh, it's vented so. Uh, I get some air, and I'm not exactly ball-headed like some people, so when the sun pierces down through these holes, uh, I've got a pretty good mat of hair up there. But uh, this hat, uh, I bought it on a business trip in Tucson, Arizona, uh, at the Arizona Hatter. It's a Bailey uh, hat, straw hat. It's just, it's wonderful. And it comes right down on my ears. But that's my first line of defense for uh, uh, keeping the sun off, especially off the, off of my ears and uh, to some extent the back of my neck and my top of my nose and forehead. The next thing, the next thing I rely on heavily is sunscreen, and I use SPS 50. And uh, I've joked with people and my doctor and said if they ever find out that this stuff causes sunscreen I'm going to be cooked because I liberally apply it you know across the back of my neck uh, you know in into my shirt where the my shirt might pull away and uh, on my face and you know my nose and just, you know my temple area and uh, I really put a lot of sunscreen on uh, on my arms and hands and uh, it's uh, it's I just use a lot of sunscreen, and I and I generally don't get a sunburn on my arm. I'll, I'll turn brown. I think I may have mentioned this in a video, but uh, this is a free idea for some entrepreneur. But if they could find a way to combine sunscreen and tick repellent, somebody would make a million bucks. So the last thing I have that I'm actually gonna really try this year. My grandfather uh, used to, uh, on my mom's side, 
she's from uh, North Carolina and my grandfather down there uh, I don't think he ever wore a uh, short sleeve shirt I I can remember him but I came along late in his life but my, just talking to my mom uh, she talked like you know she never really remembered seeing him in a short sleeve shirt and he wore I think the material is called chambray and it was kind of a blue looking shirt and uh, I think that uh, sailors in the Navy uh, wore those things too and uh, so I've been looking for a chambray shirt to try but it looks like I'm gonna have to go to the big city to get one but I found this uh, real tree shirt and uh, so I've been giving it a try uh, giving it a try this shirt breathes really good but it still feels uh, uh, kind of hot but uh, evidently people that fish wear these shirts with the long sleeve out on their bass boats I guess in order to keep the Sun off their arms and uh, key to any shirt you wear I think is you really need to have a collar and uh, you don't want a t I don't think you really want a t-shirt even with sunscreen you know you get that collar up onto the back of your neck and that really helps with uh, keeping the keeping the Sun and the sunburn off of it interestingly about this shirt on uh, sunscreen there's SPS 50 and then on uh, <clears throat> on shirts like this they have what's called a solar factor and it's uh, the, it's called UPF and sometimes that's a coating like they coat it with something other times it's just the way they the weave the fabric and uh, so the idea is to reflect uh, the Sun's UV uh, and, and keep it from penetrating to the skin and I'm from what I can read a UPF of 40 is excellent or above and uh, sometimes you'll see ratings UPF 40 and 50 if you're in that range you got a pretty good shirt as far as protecting yourself you know from the Sun and uh, this one happens to be 40 plus uh, so I don't know uh, this is the first year I've tried one of these but I, I wanted to give it a try and then there's you can wear some uh, gloves if you need to um, the, for me the jury's out on uh, wearing a long sleeve shirt it seems awfully hot but I've had people tell me and old timers tell me that uh, a long sleeve shirt is actually cooler in the summer than a long sleeve shirt it runs against my uh, common sense but maybe it is so anyway I'm about to run out of uh, uh, space on my card data uh, card here that whatever kind of chip I got in this camera and uh, I just thought I'd uh, talk about uh, sunscreen and shirts uh, and 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 hats and what I do to try to protect myself from uh, sunburn and eventually uh, uh, you know skin cancer because who wants that and and I will also say that I never wear uh, short sleeve uh, short pants and uh, flip-flops or anything like that uh, even when I got a short sleeve shirt on I always wear long pants and uh, so anyway uh, I'm sure everybody knows somebody that's had skin cancer whether they're a farmer or not and uh, so at least on this farm we're trying to uh, prevent that to the extent we can and uh, you know in, in my case I have the doctor look at look me over pretty good I have the doctor look me over pretty good every time I go and uh, just trying to be uh, proactive about keeping the sunburn and the sun cancer at, at bay so hope the video uh, was beneficial and you enjoyed it uh, we'll be into the hay, I hope, next week. Uh, comment, subscribe, and we'll talk to you later.